And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we got a pretty strong cold front coming in from the west, and it's producing all the showers in the area. We've even had a few little isolated thunderstorms. I've had uh, several reports, at least a little thunder and lightning in the area this evening. The lightning strikes, uh, strikes have really backed off in the area as of right now. There's still some showers are action out there coming back into West Lafayette and Lafayette. It's raining from Odell and Attica all the way back to Pine Village, West Lebanon, Vetersburg, New Richmond and Linden. It's all moving off to the northeast and rain coming back into Frankfurt as well. Light rain Kokomo and we've got some light rain here to the north from Remington, Wolcott and Monon and Monticello up to Winnemac and Star City all moving towards Rochester and the rain still coming down there around Rensselaer. But this will all be out of here by later on tonight and tomorrow is not looking to be a bad day. It's going to be dry, but it's going to be windy and it will certainly start to get colder. Notice in the morning kind of breezy 37, mostly sunny, mostly sunny noon, but warming up to 44, 45 strong west winds, but then the cold air will start to kind of come in later in the day. In fact, our temperature will fall in the afternoon. Some clouds coming in, strong winds, 36 degrees at 4 o'clock. Some gusts tomorrow up to 40 miles an hour though, and even though it's going to be a bright weekend, good deal of sun, it will be chilly. In fact, the coldest night so far this season once we get into Saturday night. There are the showers, perhaps another rumble of thunder, a flicker of lightning. Now, there's 4 a.m. Even then the clouds are breaking up and pulling out, mostly sunny at 7, and then a few uh, cumulus and stratocumulus clouds will kind of pivot in from the northwest tomorrow afternoon. A few may linger into tomorrow night, and I wouldn't be surprised up here near Rochester and Mexico that we get a couple flurries from Lake Michigan, and that's where the cloudiness will be on Saturday. This is Saturday afternoon. Still some clouds way up here in the northwest. Otherwise, it's a mostly sunny uh, northeast, that is. Otherwise, it's a mostly sunny day for the entire viewing area. Lows tonight, though, 30s area-wide, 38 Frankfurt, 37 Lafayette, Romney. Attica 36 at Remington and tomorrow high is generally about 40 to 45, but these will fall off a little bit in the afternoon. 44 Burlington, 42 at Monticello and the old Oakland Bucket game on Saturday, upper 30s to low 40s. Pretty chilly out there. 40, that is it in Lafayette before it warms up on Sunday. 45 to 50 for the high, 50 Covington, 47 in Lafayette. This is the first chunk of cold air that will arrive this weekend. There's a much stronger, more potent chunk of cold air off to the north that will arrive behind this system. So showers, even a, perhaps a rumble of thunder Monday into Tuesday with snow possible. We think you get several inches up in Wisconsin and Iowa. And behind that, there you have it. There's the cold air that will blow on in here, bringing the below normal temperatures to the area as we end November and move into December. And that will lay down the groundwork for the first accumulating snow once we get into December. Seven day forecast. There you have the 40 Saturday, the 47 on Sunday, 52 Monday, but after 47 Tuesday around midday, it will actually fall in the afternoon, and some of that rain may end as a few snow flurries. 35 degrees, that is it on Thursday. Well, it will cold tomorrow.